I'm Rhoda. Welcome back to Fat and Fit Over 40. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're joining us for this compound strength workout. Compound strength, working multi-muscle groups at the same time. When you do that, that increases your heart rate into a fat burning zone. So we're toning and sculpting lean muscle. Lean muscle increases your metabolism. So the more lean muscle you have, the higher your metabolism. In the process, we burn fat. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Here we go, let's move. Are you feeling fabulous today? If you're not, and that's okay, Hopefully this workout will help boost your mood. When you move your body, your brain gets happy. You'd think we'd do it more often, right? But we're busy. So that is why we're doing compound strength today, because we're going to move a lot of muscles at the same time. Super great format for getting a lot of bang for your buck, reaching out. These strength moves involve multiple muscle groups of the body. Most of them are upper and lower body at the same time. And when you have all those muscles wanting oxygen from the heart, the heart has to pump a little harder, and you breathe a little harder too. It's up and down. And that's what we want. So we're getting a cardio effect here while we tone lean muscles. And I'm going to probably reach across, use my medium weights most of the time because I want to keep moving. We're doing an isolation move. Take a break and take a deep breath. And exhale, if we're doing an isolation move, you can lift heavier. But because we're going to be doing a lot of different movement, I'm going to, for the first move, though, I am going to go with my heavier weight. Because it is a deadlift. But we'll put these weights down pretty, pretty quickly. I'm going to deadlift down, do a row down here, stand up, high pull, okay? So feet are under the hips, abs are tight, drive the hips back, do a row. Stand it up, row high, good. Take it down. Row, bring it up, high, good. Now, leading with your elbows right here. Think about having a bar, like a barbell, with plates on it. You're not gonna twist it like that, right? You're gonna pull it, pull. And then here, pull. And I don't think I'll be using my super heavy weights much else here today. <laughs> so great back of the shoulder and top of the shoulder move. Good. Okay, unilateral one side, but upper and lower body working. And I'm going to just make it a little bit of fun with an oblique crunch on the side, just like that. Ready? Weights on the right side, knee comes up to the side with a bend. Standing on this leg, a little tiny bend in your knees. Push it. Abs are tight here. Feel them work. Kind of isn't unilateral because the knee is up on the opposite side, so I was kind of misspoke there. Unilateral is when you use all one side of the body and the other side is completely still. In this case, that's not happening. But you are feeling your heart rate, right? I sure hope so. I already do. So 45 second segments. Take a long. Take a break if you need to. And then jump back in. But don't quit. Stay with me. I got 10 more seconds. Come on. It's heavy for me, too. <laughs> Very heavy. Abs are tight. That helps. And last one. Ready? Here it is. Push. Is it burning? I hope so, because I'm burning. We're going to go right into our other side. So 20 second rest is a nice rest, though. It allows you to bring that heart rate down a little bit. So that's how we get hit. High interval training. You want the heart rate up, down, up, down, up, down. Ready for the other side? Here we go. That up, down is where Dr. Tabata kind of did a lot of research and found that hit high interval training, high intensity, low impact, high intensity interval training, it's as if your heart rate was up the entire time. But you get those little rests. So that's a nice bonus. So these 20 second rests, allowing that heart rate to come down, allows us to get that hit effect. Because then we bring it right back up again with these compound moves. Whew. One 
more? Come on. Ooh. Yeah, I just make a face there. Nice work. All right, how are we feeling then? I'm going to grab my other medium weight. Moving back to that deadlift, as we come down, the palms are going to be facing me. As if you're holding that bar again, you're going to come down, pull to the waist, back to the waist. Down, stand up, and curl. So before we pulled up to the shoulder, on this one, we're pulling back to the waist. So those elbows go straight back, right here, towards your ceiling. Up and curl. Glutes in your heels, pull. Come on up, squeeze the glutes, abs tight. In this deadlift, really drive the hips back, weight in your heels, a little bend in the knees, and a flat back. Four cues for that one, but it's all important. Most important, I would have to say, is, well, they all are important, but having that weight in your heels and your back flat. You round the back, putting too much pressure on that lower back. And rest. Nice work. All right, weight is down. This is a new one I kind of came up with. We're going to squat and halo. So think about being an angel, right? Up and around. But we're going to add a squat to make it a compound move. So we're going to squat up and around. Or you can do a rear leg raise up and around. Here we go. Squat up around your right side. Down. Squat other side. Up and around. Or while we squat, leg raise up and around. We're squatting. You're raising the leg to the back. Getting that glute, so you're getting work, up and around. Almost there, come on. Get those abs. Good. Okay. Back to that deadlift again. Lots of deadlifts in this first circuit. I get my head above my heart as I get my weight. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stay down the deadlift. We're going to do a row. Palms facing each other this time. So a different row than the last two we've done. Weight comes down. And then I want you to take this weight. Rotate up one side. Down. And rotate up other. Ready? Row it. Pull that shoulder blade back. It's like a fly here. But we're adding that hip rotation. So you're getting that core. So it's one row, elbows bent, elbows bent. If you need a break on the lower back, stand up. Take that two, three second break, and then come back down here. Getting that back from a different angle while we hit these abs. Rest it. Good. Whew, 30 seconds of rest. Nice work so far, ladies. You have some water if you need it. You don't have to be surprised. Drink water. Don't wait till you're thirsty to drink water. Okay. This is what we're going to do with our weight. We're going to go wide. Toes out. Hands behind your head. Prisoner squat. Squat. Lean in. Up. We'll lean to your right first, okay? Here we go. Down, lean it, and up, I got that, down, lean, in, drive it up. Abs are tight here, you're taking the bend out, your little bend, and up, little bend, lean, and up. Sitting back, weight in your heels, that weight in your heels, it takes the pressure out of the knee. We want you to do that. Feel it. Yeah, I'm gonna say rest right there. Nice work. Okay. This is one of the few moves, maybe the only one. Actually, maybe I'll throw in. Double check that. This is an upper body compound move. It's hard. So it's okay the lower body's not moving. Palms are facing the ceiling as you come up, cross, out, down. Here we go. Lift it up. Palms are facing your ceiling. Cross, come out. Now on this next one, 
The other hand goes on top. So, biceps and shoulders, chest, back. The heart rate is up because of all of this upper body work. Muscles all combining to get you through this. Plus, it's heavy weight because the weight is far away from your body. It's out there a long time. And not only is gravity pulling on the weight, it's pulling on your arms too. So, this five pounds is much heavier than doing a five pound bicep curl. Much heavier. Good. Okay, I'm gonna stick with my lighter weights. Back to the upper lower combination. I did this with a client the other day and she's like, I really like that. Curtsy. As you come up, sideways all the way to the top. I call it a sunrise. Let's go with your right leg back first. We alternate here. So it's curtsy. As you come up, weight up or tap it back. Weight up. Work on these shoulders. Still working biceps because they're assisting. Long levers. Upper chest and back is going. Can you feel it? Tune into your body. Feel what it's doing. It's burning. Know it is working. And I say that because mine is burning. <laughs> so I know I'm working. How's your heart rate? Can you feel your heart pumping? Boy, I hope so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, catching my breath. I have to make a decision. Heavy or medium? I'm going to go medium because I want to protect my back. Recent back surgery. Toes forward, nice and wide. I'm going to hinge down one side, up, other side, down your right side. Ready? Hinge down, come up, rotate. Pull that tummy tight. Think about a little bend in those knees. Hinging forward, keeping the weight close to the body. Pulling those abs tight. Nice stretch on the hamstring too, the back of the leg, upper the leg, feel that. But my back is flat. Just like a deadlift. Just adding a core oblique element here. So getting lower body, core in the front and back. You're getting lower back working really hard here. See what I forgot here. Okay. Wide squat, curl and press. So, wide squat, coming down. You're going to curl as you come up, right here. Palms facing you. Press it up and down. It's heavy, it's hard. All right? You need to lighten your weights, lighten your weights. Here we go. Take it down, curl as you come up. Press. Your arms aren't going to go straight there. Curl. Abs are tight. Slight bend in those elbows, even as, it, as you're at the top there. In the front of the shoulder, upper chest. Take the bend out if you need to. Doesn't mean you have to stop. You just take the bend out, little bend. And then press. Middle bend. Find where you can do this wide squat with no pain. All right. Now sometimes, because the feet aren't right under the knee, you can go a little deeper in something like this than you would in a regular squat. So play with that and see where it feels good. All right, weight is down. Whew. Let's see, let's do a curtsy. We're back to our curtsies. We're gonna curtsy back, come up and kick, plant your foot, other side. Now, you need to come up and just tap the foot or come up, tap and kick. So here we go, back, up and kick, plant your foot. Or bring it back, get your balance, and then kick, okay? Figure out what works. If you can do the balance move, be more advanced. Keep that foot off the ground as it comes out of the curtsy into the kick. Taking this slow, this is a strength move. You could hold weight here if you wanted to. I don't really I want to focus more on my balance. You can see that. That's why. I feel like I'm holding a weight. That kick was horrible. And, yes, congratulations. Good 
for you. Good for you, good for me. Oh, no, strength is, I don't know, it's, it's great. I just love it. I love the fact that I'm listening here, that I just worked every muscle in my body, arms up over your head, kick your legs out, deep breath, exhale. And bringing one knee in, kick your leg up, like this little, like the pieces of your mat that are stuck to you now. How would you do? You're right here with me now, you did great. Trust me. Knee in, lay your leg down, bring this across. Reach away. Just burn lots of calories. You built lean muscle, which creates a tone pretty look and the best part even beyond that i think put your hands up over your head is you gotta allow those pretty lean muscles to show because by creating lean muscle you increase your metabolism like they say fat requires about five one pound of fat about five calories a day to exist in your body lean muscle bring this knee in bring the leg down and bring this across lean muscle, they estimate around 17 calories a day. So imagine if you converted 10 pounds of muscle, or 10 pounds of fat, sorry, to 10 pounds of muscle. You've gone from 50 calories to 170 calories. It's a big difference. All right, on your back, arms over your head, kick it out. Flex your feet here. So that extra... 120 calories, the 170 minus the 50, grab a foot. Every 30 days or so, 32 days, that muscle is going to burn a pound of fat. The pound of fat is about 3,500 calories. So the other side. So by changing nothing else other than doing the strength work and converting fat to muscle, You increase your fat burning. Come on up on your hands and knees and round your back. And flatten. And by increasing your fat burning, round your back, you'll start to lose some weight if you need to. Toes out. Rock it back. And if you don't, hands behind your head, you need to lose weight, you can eat more. That's nice. We've been spending our lives eating less, right? Diet, 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 yo, 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 yo. Just talking to a client. I coach clients on an app called Keep Up, so I work with them remotely. Come on up, do I need forward? Let's come on down. We communicate primarily through text every day. I was talking to one of my clients on the phone the other day. I'm talking about how, come on up, reach up. She said, I've been dieting all my life. And I said, okay, well, let's take the next few months and let's just do this, right? Let's just get this weight off on the other side so you can go on it for the rest of your life and not diet for the rest of your life. Come on down. You need to incorporate eating good food, eliminating your sugars, and adding your exercise. Put that together and it will happen. If you would like some coaching on that, reach out. No obligation. There's a link down below the video in the description. If you'd like to talk with me, it costs about $3 a day, $3.12 to be specific, to have an accountability coach. And it works because I've been doing that for two and a half years now and have had great success with clients. I've been doing this for over 20 years and I found that this way of communicating with you every day really works. So think about that. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It'll put it in your library and you'll see it there when you open your YouTube channel. I'm glad you joined me and I will see you next time.